Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I need to welcome myself back to my own channel because I have not posted a video in about a week and that's because I got so sick. I was completely out of commission. So this is my first video back. I'm definitely feeling a whole lot better. I'm very happy to be back because let me tell you, I was very bored not being able to really film or, or do anything. So today I wanted to do an everyday summery makeup look, but I wanted to theme it out. <laughs> and I wanted to do a makeup look that was very much the it girl or the it person makeup look that's really circling around quite a bit on social media, especially on TikTok. Now this isn't really a very new type of makeup look. It's essentially the everyday makeup look that we all know and love, but I feel like it's slightly more refined, but it's also kind of supposed to make you feel really good, really confident. At least that's what I take from it. Portion of today's video is also very kindly sponsored by Caudalie. I'm so excited to be working with Caudalie today. I'm gonna to be talking about the Beauty Elixir Spray, one of my favorite products actually to whip out during the summertime, um, but I'll be talking a little bit about that in a second. So I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy today video let me know all of your thoughts in the comments so <laughs> let's get into it so before I get into anything I'm going to prep my skin with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir spray I've been using the Beauty Elixir for years and years and years this has been a huge staple in my routine for pretty much as long as I could remember especially in the summertime I absolutely adore this product not only to spray on my face before I apply my makeup but also just like to refresh my face throughout the day, especially when it's really hot outside. This is such a refreshing product to be able to just spritz all over the face. It really kind of wakes up the skin. It's also very hydrating, so it's really nice to apply before applying your makeup to just add that boost of hydration to the skin and that little bit of glow. And I also love applying this at the end of my makeup routine when I want to kind of just calm down the look of my makeup and just make my makeup a little bit more skin-like. So it's an all-in-one. I pretty much use it for absolutely everything. And this is a brand new bottle that they just released. It's the exact same product inside, but they did completely redesign the bottle. You can see it has this really pretty new gradient that goes from pink to green. It's so beautiful. It's very summery. So I am going to shake this up and I'm going to spray this on my face. The mist is really, really fine too. So you don't get any of those big water droplets, which is nice. The smell is also so delicious. It smells very spa-like. There's like hints of rosemary, orange, and lemon. It's really so beautiful. Okay, so now that I have a nice misting on, I'm going to go in with my SPF. And sunscreen is always, of course, really important, especially in the summertime. I am going to be using the Summer Fridays Shade Drops Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is fairly new in my life. I haven't really had a chance to try this out too much, but I do really like the texture of this. It's fairly lightweight, which is really nice. So I'm gonna put two finger lengths of product. It's a good way to know if you are applying enough sunscreen. And I'm just gonna put this all over my skin. Okay, I actually really love the way that this sunscreen feels. It does not feel too heavy or greasy or even too moisturizing on the skin. It feels like it kind of sinks in very quickly. On some days, I do like those really heavy SPFs that make my skin feel extra moisturized. But on others, I also do prefer those more lightweight textures. And this one feels really, really nice and lightweight. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the makeup. and. For the base, I'm kind of thinking that I want to go for something that's quite natural. I definitely don't want like a heavy, heavy base, but I still definitely want coverage because really the whole point of this look is to feel confident. And I personally feel the most confident when my skin doesn't really have like a ton of coverage, but it has a little bit of coverage, at least so my redness is evened out. So I'm going to go for more of a no foundation look, but I am still going to add coverage with concealer. But I'm going to use this product first to prime because I find that it really does a lot for my skin without really adding any coverage to it. So this is the Tula Filter Primer. It's supposed to be blurring and moisturizing. And it says that it instantly smooths the look of uneven skin tones and hydrates for a glowy filter-like finish. I'm using the shade Sunrise. So it pumps out as a creamy color, but when you start to blend it into the skin, it actually gets a little bit deeper. And it's not supposed to like match your skin tone or anything, but it does have a little bit of a tint to it. And on my skin tone, this particular tint does add a little bit of warmth to it. This product is so nice because it gives such a subtle, but still obvious smoothing effect to the skin. So it kind of looks like I just went in with like a soft focus filter and just kind of lightly airbrushed my skin very, very lightly. Again, it did not add any coverage, but it just gave me this smoother 
appearance to my skin that I'm very very into and it also gave me this really really nice glow that's not too intense at all I'm so excited that I discovered this product because for makeup days like today where I don't want like a super heavy look but I still want some type of like perfection to my skin this is a really great base to start off with I'm actually also going to apply this Tula skincare rose glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm this is just a moisturizing eye balm and I have been liking this underneath my eyes because it just kind of adds this really nice glow there it's very skincare like it's not super obvious but it just gives me a little bit of hydration and it hasn't broken me out I wouldn't say that this like replaces a typical eye cream but it's nice especially to apply right before I apply makeup because it just gives this really nice effect to the under eyes so now it's time to actually get a little bit of coverage so the key for me when I do a no foundation makeup look but I still want to kind of even look like I'm wearing foundation but I obviously wanted to look very natural is to go in with a high coverage concealer that has a natural finish and just use it very specifically so I'm going in with my NYX bear with me concealer serum I really love this because it's exactly that and I'm going to apply this on the areas of my face that I do want a little bit more coverage so I'm gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes you don't need a lot of product with this stuff you just need a little bit it goes a very long way so it keeps that lightweight look I'm also putting it around my nose on my chin I'm telling you that Tula product made such a difference I don't even really need a lot of this pretty much it I'm gonna put maybe just a little bit down the bridge of my nose I don't really need it very much though but I kind of just want to balance out the brightness since this concealer color is a little bit light for me and I'm gonna take a beauty sponge and I'm actually going to spritz a little bit of my Caudalie beauty elixir on the sponge just to kind of give it a little bit of hydration boost it's gonna help keep my face really nice and glowy and I'm going to go ahead and blend out all of that concealer I also want to mention if you feel like wearing a more light to medium or even full coverage foundation for a look like this, totally go for it. Like I said, whatever makes you feel most confident is the road that you want to go down. So for me, this is how I feel most confident in my skin and this is what I like to do. So. This is what I'm showing you guys today. So that is what my skin looks like after applying all the products. It lets the natural skin shine through, but it still is pretty perfected. I'm very excited for the next step. It's time for bronzer. This is the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. And this one is in the shade One Fair. She looks like this. I am so excited to try this. This is the new cream bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. The texture of this feels super interesting and very unlike other cream bronzers that I've tried. It honestly kind of feels more like a powder. Very, very, almost like putty-like. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with the same sponge. And I really wanted to use a cream bronzer because I love the look of a cream on a more natural makeup. Day because it just looks very very natural and melts into the skin really nicely it's a little bit risky <laughs> trying this product today since I haven't tried it before but ooh, it actually looks really pretty I really didn't know how this would apply with a sponge because the texture is just so different but it seems to be applying really really nicely applying this in all the areas that I would typically bronze on my cheekbones on my hairline this color is definitely on the lighter side for me I think I'm probably gonna pick up one shade deeper for my skin tone it definitely works but when I get a little bit more tan it is definitely going to be a little bit light because this doesn't apply super intensely but for right now it's working fine it has a nice very skin like matte type of finish it's not super glowy at all it's interesting that it calls itself a glow bronzer because I really would never think to call a product like this that because it's definitely not a emollient glowy product it kind of just allows the skin glow that's already there to shine through it also seems to be blending really nicely on the skin too there's no harsh lines at all I don't really seem to have to work this into the skin too much for it to work so far so good I'm happy that I decided to try it out today I feel like it really works well with this type of makeup look I'm excited to continue to use this and I'm definitely picking up a deeper shade. Okay, so now let's move on to blush and blush is definitely a very important step to this look because we really want to look very rosy and blushed. So I'm actually going to use two different colors from Keys. So these are both cream blushes. This one is Grace, this one is Sensual. We're gonna be using both of them. Um, I always find layering a blush look is always more fun than just, you know, using one, why not? 
that also gives you a little bit more dimension to your blush as well. So I am going to use this shade on the majority of my cheek and then just a little bit of the deeper shade as a pop. I know this looks really intense, but it actually applies on like the buildable sheer side. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the lighter shade Grace, which is this very pretty raspberry, and I'm gonna apply it with my finger right on my cheekbone area. I'm just gonna go in with my sponge and blend it out completely so it's nice and seamless. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this also and put it across the bridge of my nose just to give me that very natural sun-kissed look because this is pretty sheer, it's not gonna look too crazy, but it's gonna add that little hint of color so that you know that it's there. So just this color on its own is obviously really pretty, but we wanna take it kinda of to the next level and I'm gonna go in with the deeper shade. It's super intense. I'm gonna use my sponge with this, just pick up just a very, very small amount and I'm gonna put it more on the apples of the cheeks to really add that pop of color. I love this. I feel like it kind of looks like I've, I've been spending the day in the sun. I have a little bit of color to my cheeks, but it's also not, you know, too much, too intense. It's just enough. It's just super pretty. So for the brows, I'm gonna be going for a very natural look, meaning zero fill on the brows. So I'm not filling it in at all, but I'm going to be shaping them with a clear brow gel. And I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Brow Lift. This is a clear brow gel that you apply with a spoolie. It uh, lifts your brows and it flattens them and it makes them look very defined. So I'm going to take a spoolie and just kind of roll it in the brow gel. And then I wipe off the excess on the edge and then I'm going to brush it through my brows and I just kind of play with my brows until I'm happy with the shape that it's giving me. But as you can see, it adds so much definition to like every single brow hair. It makes them look so flat <laughs> and laminated. I don't like my brows to look too flat and laminated because it's like a really intense look. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of brush them all up to really get that brow gel all up in there. on both sides and then I'll take the spoolie and just kind of run it along the top edge to start to shape the brow. So it's really nicely shaped but it's not like sticking straight up. So for the eyes, I'm definitely keeping it very simple. What I want to do is I want to define my eyes and I want to make them pop but I also don't want to add too much to them because again, the whole point of this look is to keep things fairly simple. So I have a bunch of these colors here for MAC and I'm not really sure exactly which one I want to use because I do want to use kind of like a dark brown color or even a plum color, anything that's not black basically. I just want something that's soft but that's still going to give me that definition. So all of these are the new MAC color excess liners and this one is called Sick Tap Bro, which is the funniest makeup name I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and this color is a very, very deep dark brown. So that is very close to what I want. Um, but then I'm thinking maybe I want something a little bit more purple. So this one is called Graphic Content and it's a pretty true plum color. Both of those colors are matte. Um, and then, then I'm thinking maybe I want something with a little bit of shimmer. So this one is called Skip the Weightless. Very similar to the first one, just has a sheen. I actually think I'm going to go with Skip the Weightless. I do like that little bit of metallic sheen. Um, and I'm going to create just a really thin line on my upper lash line. And I'm also going to wing it out slightly. I'm creating a line on the outer corner and then I'm starting to shape it a bit into a very light wing. Before it sets down, I'm taking an angled brush. I'm just kind of shaping the eyeliner with it. Another really easy way to shape your eyeliner is to take your nail and literally just run it along the edge of your eyeliner and it's going to give you a super sharp line very very easily and i'm really keeping the concentration of the eyeliner on the outer corner of my eye just to keep my eyes nice and open so i'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner this is mac incorruptible and i'm not gonna line my entire waterline with that because i feel like it's a little bit too harsh but i am gonna go only on like the first quarter of my lower waterline just to really open up my eyes just in that area i'm gonna do one eye at a time so you guys can really see the difference So you can see I lined from here to here, and this is the difference from this side, which has it, and this side that doesn't. So it's very subtle, but it really lightly 
brightens and opens up the eye without it being too stark and intense. It's a really good way to use white eyeliner without being like in your face. Also make sure to blend it a little bit with your finger again so it's not like a super harsh line. Next up, totally optional, but it definitely adds just a little bit of spice to the look. I'm gonna go in with a very shimmery and sparkly eyeshadow. This is from Dior, and it is the Dior Show Fusion Mono Longwear Eyeshadow in the shade Mirror. And it's so intense and so sparkly, you could use any eyeshadow that you have in your collection that is like a light, sparkly champagne. And I'm gonna pop it right on my lid. Putting it right in the center of the lid just adds a really beautiful pop. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara off camera. I'm gonna use my Lancome Lashy Doll. So now it's time for the lip. I'm so excited to use these. I have not tried them yet. They're the Fenty Beauty Poutsicle Lip Stains. I've heard so many great things about them. They've definitely been trending quite a bit on TikTok as well. Stains in general are really nice if you wanna give that illusion that your lips are just like they just look like that <laughs> because it adds that stain of color, but it doesn't look like heavy, like you're wearing any type of product. This color in particular has been trending on TikTok. It's called My Type, and it is a really bright fuchsia color. Um, the trick for using a lip stain where you don't want it to actually look super intense is to wipe it off after a couple seconds. So it has time to set down and to like deposit the color, but not so much so where it looks super intense. So instead of giving you that like bold color, it's just gonna give you some something a little bit more wearable. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply, wait a couple seconds, and then wipe it off with a tissue. I don't even wanna wipe this off. This is such a pretty color. This wiped off really gives you the perfect, like, my lips but better type of color. It just looks like I'm, I made out with somebody. By the way, you do not have to wipe this off as I'm doing right now. You could totally just let it be and let it fade naturally. But if you want something less intense, then wiping it off is, is the way to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a clear gloss. This is the Kosas Wet Lip Oil in the shade Jellyfish and put it on top. Last but not least, cherry on top of the sundae. I'm gonna spray my face with my Caudalie Beauty Elixir just to refresh and we are all done and I love this look so much. So what do we want to call this? Is this the everyday makeup look, the clean makeup look, the it person makeup look, really whatever you want to call it. I just really love this look and this look makes me feel powerful. <laughs> and let me tell you over the last week or so as I've been really sick, I have not even felt even close to this. So it's really nice <laughs> to feel good <laughs> with with a little bit of makeup on right now. I've done a million looks that look very similar to this, but I really enjoyed playing with these particular products and some of these different techniques, and I hope that you guys maybe learned something new. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments and hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video. And once again, thank you so much to Koda Lee for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.